the best bit of advice that I can give you is that persistence is key. Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Bremwell. I'm a multidisciplinary artist based in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And today I'll be telling you about my brand called Little Brummy. Little Brummy is focused on surface pattern design and textile home goods. I design and make everything by hand myself in my home studio. So some of my work would include tufted rugs, pillows, wall hangings, and coasters. And the other main part of my practice is block printing and screen printing textiles. Well, I've always been an artist ever since I was a little kid. I was always drawing or painting or building little sculptures. So after high school, I went to NASCAD University. It was always my dream to be a self-employed artist. It's a pretty obvious path for me. So that was uh, something that I have been working towards since graduation, essentially and I've been working full-time for myself since uh, October 2020, so just about a year now. So this is my studio, and I'm going to be showing you around today. So this is it, this is my studio. I just uh, used a spare room in my apartment. This is the Tufton gun. This one is called an AK-1 cut pile tufting machine and is probably the most accessible and easiest one to learn with. So some other tools that I use, this for winding the yarn into cones, projector. <clears throat> Usually I just freehand right onto the frame, but if it's a more complicated design, then I'll project it on and trace it. This is the glue for gluing the back. A mask because there's just yarn fibers everywhere all the time. Don't wanna breathe those in. And then I have these sheep shears for trimming the finished product. This is one of my favorite corners of my studio. It's very colorful. This is where I store my yarn for tufting. And here I have some of my business stuff. So these are woven labels for attaching to the back of the rugs and pillows. These are carved stamps. So after I've chosen my colors, I wind the yarn into a cone shape, which makes it much easier to work with. So this is how I thread the machine. And I always double up on my yarn when I'm tufting. Something that I think is pretty important for maybe young artists or People are still finding their style is to not just look to Instagram and Pinterest as their source. That's why everything is becoming so homogenous and it just kind of looks the same. This is a great book as well. It's all about pattern, it spans many different centuries. Another thing that I think is pretty important when you're starting your business is to not only rely on social media, you want to actually build your brand and your business in real life. So get out there and connect with other small businesses and other artists in your city or community. Um, participate in local markets and get your work into local shops. That way a whole new audience can discover your work and it can also give you that sense of connection and community that can be missing from only having your work in online spaces.